previously on Euro Truck Simulator 2. There's a river crossing. Look at this. We have to take a boat. Awesome. We've got to take a boat, and I assume it takes us down the end of there. That's brilliant. Yeah, over that way. I've got to get on here. Amazing. That's quite cool, though, isn't it? Look at this. We're going to take a boat across to the, the thing. Let's travel to the destination. It takes 30 minutes. T let's do it. I just really... Oh, wow! We're going to get the full boating experience. I never expected that. And we're getting the... Oh wow! Are we gonna? T it's actually gonna do the whole route. It's gonna do the whole thing. Hello and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator Two. It's Christmas. Merry Christmas, all. Um, I'd like to thank you all for supporting me. Um, that's definitely something I want to do, but I will get to it in a little bit. So we're currently on a, a sort of a mission. The mission is to sort of take uh, basically what's called the, the the Vulcan Explorer, not to be confused with the Vulcan Explorer, because then we'd have to have a starship. Um, but we're Vulcan Explorer. We're basically trying to travel around all of these ones around this area, I think. It also extends a little bit into here as well, but I think it's mainly these ones. That would be about right for the numbers. So what we'll do is we'll try and clear off um, Bulgaria and Turkey. Which is down here, that's Turkey. This is Bulgaria, we're in here. And I think we need to clear off Romania as well, which is here. So Romania, Bulgaria, Turkey. These are the places that we need to do. And that was a heck of a run, by the way. I must I must, I must thank uh, Hatman for that, because that's the most interesting ferry crossing I've seen. I really enjoyed doing that, actually. And now, I think when we were doing this, we had a little look, and we were looking at places we could go to. And there were some interesting looking places around here... That we dropped off our load at, and I thought, yes, this is the place we need to go to get something. So this is a, that was an absolute. That's an awful bit to get to because that's actually a main road that goes down there. That's horrible to go to. Anyway, so I thought there were some interesting ones around here. So things like Rock Eater and whatever else is. So I thought though we we try and get ourselves some more missions, but let's do it old school. So let's go to one of these places and get get something from there. So what we've got. Impeccable Rock Eater. Let's go Rock Eater. Let's go Rock Eater and see if we can get something from there. Let's do it old school. Let's go there and see if we can find ourselves something to do. So so that's what we'll do. But yes, I'd like to say thank you very much and Merry Christmas to you all. Um, and, uh, thanks to, to, to Bobster to get me getting me back into this. Mark for his continual support. Hatman for 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 his continued support and and anybody else. So so you the you're the main guys though. So you're the you're the main people. You're the people who have helped me the most with this. So um, I think I might rest before we go to that place because then we've got at least got a daytime. Should we do that? Let's do that. Let's get some rest and do a daytime because it'd be nicer to travel at day. Because especially as that truck looks so nice. Look at that. It's all Christmassy. And inside we've all we've also got. Turn the windscreen wipers on briefly. We'll start the engine. We've got our Santa there, look. He's looking lovely, isn't he? He's Santa there. So, after the storm, we've got rain dripping down it. I still don't understand why they don't do snow, though. I, I, I have, that, that one still, to this day, confuses me. Is this something... Do you think that's something to do with the fact that other people have done it, or something similar? Do you think that's maybe it? I don't know. Anyway, so let's go. Let's get out of here. There's a little car park here. I think this is the way out, isn't it? Mm, I don't know. No, maybe not. There's old things a car park, by the way. It looks like I can just stop anywhere I like in here. There's the way out. There's the way out. There's the way out. Let's just gently make our way out here. Stop. You can just stop anywhere you like, though, in here, it seems. A bit of rain on the, the, the thing. Is it still raining? Are we still raining? That's just drips. Maybe just drips from from what we were doing. Right. Okay. So I want to go this way. Let's go down here and we'll find out what's down here because we're going to go have a little explore. We've got plenty of diesel still, and we're we're basically got lots of cities to explore too. So so uh, I hope you all had a lovely time though at your Christmas and your little breaks. 
I did the uh, the we we do uh, we don't do Christmas dinner as such. We don't do like um, turkey because nobody eats turkey in my house. Well, I like turkey, but nobody else does. So so we did uh, we did we did gammon and. Uh, and, 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 you know, and pigs in blankets and all of those kind of things. And it was really nice, actually. It was lovely. It was, we had a lovely day. Um, pretty pretty simple. Kept it quiet. And as I say, that's why it's been delayed by a, by at least a day. But, uh, but but I'm back with you now. I'm back with you starting a, starting a new year. And a new, bit of, a new bit of driving. Oh, I hope I didn't hit anything there. Felt like I did. So a new bit of driving, a new year. I was looking at, there's a magazine, um, you know, and, and, and good old print, you know, one of those things that's dying quite mightily, called Truck and Driver, and that looked kind of cool, I saw that, um, it, uh, the only reason I saw it is because um, Volvo um, sort of tagged it in one of their, their posts, because I've been following up on all the sort of the various things to do with trucks and things like that recently, have you seen Scania's attempt at a, an electric truck, oh god, it's weird. It's very, 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 very long. It looks like more like a, a, a 7.5 ton job. You know, one of those sort of... Is it 7.5 ton? You know, not 7.5, oh, over 7.5 ton. You know, the, the, the sort of the, 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 the flat um, ones, the, the rigids, as they're called. Um, it looks very much like that, but it's all batteries along the bottom. It's just really, really long, but it does seem like it can hook onto the trailer as well, which is also a bit weird. So, um... Oh, we go. Right past this. Look at oh, that scrap. Scrap metal, look. Right past the scrap metal. Scrape. By the scrap scrapyard. That's where we're going, down the scrapyard. We're going to the scrapyard. Up here by this uh, nuclear power station. That looks good. That's going to be interesting. You always get some interesting stuff around these kind of... I'm, oh, well, I'm about to say that. It might not be any interesting interested at all. But I do think we can get some interesting stuff. Look at that, nuclear power stations. Very run down, diastopic, isn't it? I'm going too fast. I went to a. Um, I did go to a, a, a place that did diesel a long time ago. And there was a slow. There was a speed thing. It was a really slow sort of. Um, a, a sort of. Uh, you know. Uh, sort of a speed limit on the on the on the on the on the place, and it was quite literally. Good God, we've got cooling towers here and everything. Look at this, cooling towers. My God. Anyway, um, but it was a very slow speed limit and of ten miles per hour, and they quite literally would stop you if you did went only through faster than the ten miles per hour. Would they would not? They would not mess around with the uh, with with ten miles per hour. No snow though. It's not Christmassy. I can't believe there isn't a, there isn't an add-on for that. I think the people would actually quite like a, a snow mod, if that makes sense. Anyway, the rock formations here. I'm looking forward to this. I'm hoping there's nothing too heavy though, because I'm not very I, my truck's not really configured for very heavy loads. It's a mind you saying that it's a, it's a pretty gruff and grumbly vehicle. However, you do see the stats for it. It's not quite it's quite as good as it could be. That makes sense. Oh, there's some, some normal looking loads here as well. There's a truck there. Parked up. Fantastic. Let's see if we can find a nice little load. There's a little little sleepy area. What a weird place just to dump your truck. Here we go. Let me in. Thank you. Rock Eater Quarry. That's me. It sounds like my kind of place. Let's see what jobs they've got. Let's see what we can do. See if we can get some places that need to be to be done. Earn some money by doing some loads. I still haven't got a trailer, you know. Tracks. We need to look at. We need. You know what we need to look at before we do that. We need to, before we do any of these jobs. Is that a heavy load? It is a heavy load. Ugh, I'm not going to be able to do 22, 26, five tons. So either way, it's probably going to be this one here. But let's have a little look at the let's have a look at the map because I'm sure I've probably been there. Let's have a little look of scroll out. Oh, I haven't. I have not been to Bucharest. So so that's that's an easy one. Let's do that job. Wow, I thought for a minute there had been, but but it looks like I don't I don't think I've been very many places here to be honest with you. So Bucharest is there. I don't know what else we can pick up on the way, but let's do that one. That's 11 tons. We can do that. It's an urgent job. Let's do it. Okay. It's only a two-hour job. Okay. Here we go. Here's our lord. 
Proceed to the loading area. I'm proceeding to the loading area. There's our loading area there. Let's uh, whip us round and get ourselves sort of positioned to go in, sort of. Look at that. I love that. I love that. Look at that. It's brilliant. That's that's probably the picture for the video. Right. Okay, so let's do the rundown here. So we have the horseshoe shaped thing at the back there, which is called the fifth wheel. That is our coupling. We have to hit the pin, which is the little dangly bit. If we can give we get the angle here on the bottom of the trailer. And basically we have to knock the two things almost spot on together because um, we've got the advanced coupling turned on, which was something that was suggested to me by Mark Middleton ages ago. Um, um, and to try and uh, make me it more difficult for me to, to actually uh, load a truck. And I think the first couple of episodes where I had it on, I was actually all right. Um, it's, it's episodes like this where, for some reason, I'm just struggling with the, the angling of it. I think I need to get these mud flaps slightly underneath the frame to get it square here. So, like that, hopefully, is the one. And it is. It is the one. So, there's our truck. And I just love this bit when we load her up. So, let's push the button. like to see the, the, the legs being lifted or raised like they are. And then the the, pipe, the 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 air hoses get locked on, and there's me in my truck. That's a spectacular um, looking truck. I, I do like these Actros. That that is Actros, Actros. I'm going to go with Actros. Um, I do like these Actros trucks. They do feel very very meaty. Um, sort of proper proper trucks. They they, they it, it 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 feels like it can it can you know. I don't know, uh, uh, survive anything, you know, uh, any kind of uh, sort of deserts and, and, and sort of things. I, I don't know, it just feels feels good. Yes, it feels good. Stuff. It feels very good indeed to drive. Love that. Anyway, stop stop zooming outside. Let's get driving. So um, let's do the rundown on the old uh, on the old GPS. So in the bottom corner there, it's, uh, we're doing 31, 32 kilometres an hour. Um, we've got um, A8, automatic 8, so we're automatic gears. Then the damage to the truck, which is very empty, so there's no darks, there's no green, orange marks on that. Followed by the fuel, which we've got plenty of. Um, so this, that's quite hard. It's more than three quarters full, maybe three quarters, two thirds. And then we've got the bed, which is basically goes blue as we get tireder, and once it fills up, it goes red. And then when we're red, it's bad news. And then we've got the old uh, envelope, which I always say is sadly underused because it never is used very much. Um, which then is followed by because it's only used for when you get updates, basically on things. Um, and then the time itself, which is 11:03 a.m. Followed by a little bit below that, we've got the we've got our, um, our we've got our little red flag, which represents our destination, our waypoint, and that is a thirteen. Hour, ooh, you've actually just reminded me that I've got basically I'm going to get in at um, thirteen forty six, and it's one hundred seventy five miles and two hours and forty forty three minutes. But what I'm going to do now is because even though this is just in time, see if there's any other options or opportunities to go to anywhere else on the way. There isn't without taking a long detour the wrong direction. So, because that's the place we need to go to here, but there's no real opportunity to go to these two without going a long way round. So we'll go to Bucharest, and then we'll see what else we can find that takes us elsewhere, elsewhere within the whole place. So let's go with it anyway. So that's excellent. Good choice there. Yeah, yeah. Worth, worth, worth having a little look at and see what we've got. So we come out of this estate, past these big towers. Lovely. Too busy staring at my truck nowadays, you know. It's just a beautiful truck. It is. It's a beautiful truck. That would have been oil down there if we'd gone that way. Oh, there's Santa on there. I did buy. I hope you've bought some bits from the Steam sale. Support, support, support um, SCS Software because they're, they're they're creating a fantastic game. And if you haven't friends haven't bought it, tell them it's three pounds um, seventy five right now. Well worth buying. Um, just just even just for the basic. That's that. That will give you loads of play, even with the basic. So, um, but but uh, at the moment they've got bits and pieces on sale. So go on, help yourself. Christmas is here on Steam. Um, I bought myself um, the pirate, the pirate add-ons for it, and the pirate add-on actually has some bits to go on the front of the the, the, the the bits in the front of the truck as well. A bit like Santa. There's some pirates and things. So I'm quite looking forward to putting that on. But at the moment we're doing Santa for the moment. It's because it's uh, it's uh, it's 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 um, it's it's that time of the year. When Mariah Carey plays an absolutely replaced. Do you know how much she makes for that, by the way? There was a thing recently. 
She makes about £750,000 every Christmas from, from her song being played. That's quite impressive, really, isn't it? For, for something that you you know you, you own the rights to um however I do do think that uh, you know we should we, there's, there's a, a rights to music is a bit like rights to books you know it should after a certain amount of time it should expire I personally think but but uh, you know I mean 75 years or something like that would be would be would be about the same time books expire it would be lovely to be able to do that but I mean you'd, uh, this uh, it would it but but uh, yeah so Mariah Carey though she makes a fortune I don't blame her though she wears that little red outfit, doesn't she, when she's doing it as well. She wiggles around wearing a little red outfit for Christmas. Just like Santa. Because um, I don't even know the song. It's like... some. some um, do you know, the thing is, it should be burnt in my brain, but it's not. I'm afraid it's not burnt in my brain at all. Right. Okay, on our way. I hope you had a good Christmas lunch. Did you have? Did you? What did you have for Christmas lunch? Did you have anything special? Did you have? Uh, did you have? Uh, did you have turkey, the traditional thing? Did you have gravy? Did you have? Uh, did you have stuffing? I forgot to get stuffing this year, though. I'm, I'm not quite in the bad books, but uh, I did forget the 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 the, the, uh, the stuffing. I could have got, should have got stuffing. Didn't get stuffing. It was. Um, it's one of those. Uh, it's one of those wonderful things, though. I do like stuffing at this time of the year, but uh, I sounded wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call my wife. <laughs> I need stuffing this year. <laughs> anyway, but but yeah, you know the, the traditional things, those lovely things. Um, went a bit overboard though with the uh, with the uh, with the with the chocolate Yule log that, uh, that the missus got. We 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 got one of these things, and it's like it's got ten portions in it, and uh, and uh, we split it into four, uh, <laughs> two and a half portions each. A lot of calories, and it wasn't. It wasn't, and 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 I know I've I've, I've gone up all about. Um, oh God, um, you know exercise and how I feel about that nowadays. Um, I ki kind of, I kind of, yeah, went a little bit overboard there, and I kind of try. I'm kind of feeling. I'm, I was kind of feeling it for a while. Oh God, slow down again. The road just drops in speed all of a sudden. I keep missing this. I'm missing the road signs. Do you see the road signs that I'm missing? It's actually going to cost me more money than it is actually to do to do that. Oh, that's lovely. Little farm doing obviously doing um, so sort of selling trees and other things. They're probably quite expensive actually because they're fully almost partially grown, aren't they? Those trees. Foot down. Foot down. I do like the uh, the density of the traffic, I and mean, we've talked about this before. But but um, this is a suggestion from Bobster about the density of traffic, and you can change it. There's a there's a, the instructions in the description below if you want to do it. Very simple instructions on how you change the density of traffic. But changing the density of traffic is really really useful because it, it kind of added to it. Before it's quite it's quite empty actually as Euro Truck on standard settings. It really should be part of the menu options though I think don't you? I mean maybe maybe it's just me, but I think it should be part of the menu options to select how much you want to do. The thing is they didn't want to do it because it, there's an impact on processing, but I don't think it makes a big difference. Certainly doesn't in my game, and, and most modern PCs are fairly competent at playing these things. But but like, it, it's a good company for that though, because they're keeping it open to those people with lower spec computers. So so I gotta give them gotta give them kudos for that. Kudos for that. A little extra kudos for 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 doing for, for doing that. Did you see the sign? I missed the sign again. Did I just pass the sign there and just completely ignore it? I did, didn't I? I'm gonna watch for signs this time round. See this because this must be dropping down there. 50. Right. I'll give... You've got to be kidding. I saw the sign, decelerated, ended up still in trouble. Absolutely awful. Right. Okay, on our way through anyway. Love that clunking noise of the of the... Of the indicator on this thing, just a proper clunk, 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 clunk. Feels very, very. Uh, what what are they used for? Is it something called a solenoid? Where they where they do that? Feels very firm though, very firm indeed. I slowed down there for that car because I thought he was going to come in. I was going to collide with him. This truck's coming right out. He'll join the road in a minute. 
Let's see if I can get ahead of him. I am ahead of him. Do not delight can collide with me. Oh, that was close to the truck on the other side of the road. There was that that was that whole noise, that ooh when he goes past, you know, when you're really close to another vehicle. Ooh, at speed. Alright, we're blasting down the road. I'll try and do one more little short run today, because um, it is Christmas, and, and, and I'm trying to take a little bit of a break from, from, from YouTube videos. I love doing them, but sometimes I kind of spend too much time doing them, and not enough time sort of doing the nice family things. And I did spend Christmas Day doing those, so 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 um, you're getting these a little late for a change, but uh, but I, I do need a... I just, just like to take a little break occasionally from things, so... I'm quite enjoying the, my, my, my time off. I've, I've used... I've basically, Christmas Day, I spent sleeping. It's ridiculous, really. How, how old am I? You need to sleep for Christmas Day. Look at that thing. So, um, yeah, a bit, a bit of sleeping on Christmas Day. That was nice. A little bit sleeping. Wow. Well, I suppose he slowed me down. That helped a little bit. <clears throat> a lot of barriers around here. Ooh, interesting road. Give way on it. And on the here. That's those those clunking those those physical clunking noises going on again. I don't think I have to indicate to come back out here. I think I'm all right. Lovely. A customer would expect it very soon. You're going to get it very soon. The car showroom there. You're going to get your gift very shortly. I don't know what time they expected it, but it's good. not far away. Usually that means that. It's usually an hour away they want it to be, so we're, 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 we're going for it. Okay, we're going for it. That's that water. Oh, 50. Slow down. <laughs> Slowed down a bit too much there. I was like, slow down! And then it's like, no, not slow down like that. I don't want to slow down like that. It's far too much slowing down. I hope Santa got you some nice gifts. Um, I've been, uh, I've, I got some uh, Switch games as well. I was quite excited about that. Got a few Switch games. Um, spent a few quid on the old um, Steam sale. Got some sweets, because that's what that's what we always get. A couple of, a t-shirt. A T-shirt with Way of the Exploding Fist on, which is one of my favourite games in the 8-bit generation. I love that. So, Way, Way of the Exploding Fist. Um, some books, some comic stuff, because I'm kind of nerdy like that. Love it. And uh, got those got those as well. It was really good. It's really, really good. I hope your trucking has been good this Christmas as well. I hope you've had some time to get a, get a bit of trucking going on. Definitely have to get into the uh, the uh, the the um, the new the, the sort of the the American truck simulator. I've not got into that one yet. I've not been able to get into that. Still getting requests for. Um, still getting requests for uh, um, bus simulator 18. So so I'll continue with that. If I'm still getting requests, I'm still still going to play it. It's been a bit slow work, that one, recently, though, if I'm honest. That turning, just straight off there. I'm probably on the... I'm on the wrong lane here. Look at this. What a beautiful country this is. Look at the colour of the water there. That is stunning. It's beautiful. Put the cruise control back on again as we make it up the road. Can I come over? Yeah, I have to come over. I think we're okay. That was a suggestion from Bobster there to, 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 to make me look in the mirrors. I'm getting better of it, though. It's taken practice, though. Plenty of episodes of this. It's taken a fair amount of practice for me to uh, get good enough to do that. And then we've got to turn here. Oh dear. Wow, look at the speed of some of these cars going around here. This is a nightmare. It's 
It's going to let me go because I forced my way out. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lovely. 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 Got myself got myself free. So this is must be the outskirts of Bucharest. That's where we are. The outskirts of Bucharest. Another another busy road to, to cross into it on. Whoa, bus! You see that bus? There was a train there as well. I didn't even get a chance, but I saw the bus. I knew the bus was going to shoot up the outside of me there. Look at this. Look at this. It's lovely. I hope I get this. I hope this one ticks off when I get there, because because I'm I'm on the outskirts of Bucharest. I'm hoping this one ticks off as another one that we've done. Come on, please be Bucharest, as as in full on, full on ticking it off, please. Eighty kilometres an hour. Don't need to be eighty kilometres an hour. I just need to be in here, log and stick. Here we go. It's not scored it off yet, though. I'm a bit worried about that. A little bit worried about that. Log and stick. Here we go. Log and stick. We're in. Okay. Let's have a look, see where we can do it. Let's uh, let's do the more the more interesting of the parking. Let's do that. Unloading in the red bit there. That's fine. I do like the fact that I've almost got a truck that's similar colour to to the, the the to me. You know, a trailer similar colour to me. Right. Let's go. Let's go again here. There you go. Without taking the side off, I moved over just a little bit. Right. It isn't. It isn't one of these ones with uh, with the. No, it's fixed, fixed, fixed axle. I can't, I'm not very good with the axles where they change, uh, change direction. Have you got any tips on um, parking with the ones that aren't fixed axles? I would very much like to hear them because I don't like the ones that where they've got the moving axle. The fixed ones, I can kind of do. I kind of get the, I get the gist of it with a fixed, with a, with a, with a, with an axle that's um, solid. But I just don't really do very well with the, with the non-fixed axles. If they're not fixed, I'm really struggle. So by not fixed, by non-fixed axles, basically the wheels there would turn to match the wheels that I've got there, um, and it's 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 technically it would be it, technically it's easier to park. Um, but Muggins here really struggles with it. I really do. I really struggle with that, with that, that uh, non-fixed axle. It's just something I cannot, I cannot do very well. That's what a lovely view that is. That's proper. That is. It's nice because you can see down it because it's exposed sort of trailer rather than being sort of uh, one of these solid ones. That's not quite in yet. I'm going to come forward a little bit. There you go. You can see I'm straightening out the, in the mirror here. Look, I'm looking at this mirror. It's where I'm looking. Well, not too much. And straight. Oh, terrible. I think it'll do, though. No, it won't. <laughs> it won't do! Come on, straighten her out. That's it. Come on. Straight in we go. One of the things I was taught by the people who, who, who watch my channel, and if you're watching it the first time, one of the things they taught me is that, that although I mean, I'm not the greatest example of parking, because I should have done this in one, not in two, or three, um, is the is to use the space that's available in the the air, the parking area you're in, 
That 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 is a massive bonus. You can because there's lots of space in front of me there. I'm able to use that space to do things. So let's just disconnect this, and we should be there, and we should make some money. Excellent. We did it within the time limit. Maneuvering bonus was there. We are gr good to go. Let's just see. And I haven't got Bucharest scored off there, which is really quite annoying. Oh, I have. Oh, I haven't. Have I? Oh, it has. It scored Bucharest off. So, so, so. Uh, I didn't think it had, but it has. So, so we've obviously got that one right. Okay, let's look for a f at the freight market and let's see whether we can find something. I'm tempted to find something where we are. Just do another quick job where we are, because we're, we're there. Let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just jump in the truck and let's go to the front entrance and just steal one of these. Why bother going anywhere else? There's plenty of, there's tra plenty of trailers in here, so there must be one of these, must be a possible job. So let's screech to a halt. Stop. I was looking in the upper, the top mirror there. Let's do a quick other job while we're here. What we got? Sorry, I thought I was in Bulgaria. This is actually Romania, am I? I do apologise. I apologise for that. That's Austria. That's that. That's another place I haven't been to, and I'm going to go through two cities on the way. So we've basically got sheep's wool, 13 tonnes worth, 6 six thousand euros not a lot but it's enough and it will basically give us another two of those which is fantastic news so i think we should go with that as a plan i think that's good let's take that job i think there's two more that i haven't been to i think that's right isn't it two more i haven't been to oh no i've been there but i haven't been there so we'll we'll basically we'll we'll have a quick look at that this to see whether or not I can adjust the the, the the route once we've done it to get these. So where's my load? It's just over there. There it is. Right, okay. Let's let's just just check. I'll check my positioning in a minute. I'm looking at that white line just there on the road. That's where I'm looking for. Let's see if we can do this funny angle. Probably not. No, that was that was that was very speculative. Let's see if we can achieve that. Do you remember that episode where I spent the whole whole ep about ten minutes trying to take the wrong load? That guy there just watching me, going, "What an idiot!" He's pretending he's not watching now because I'm leaning out the window, of course. Going, "Can I reverse this in?" There we go. I'll take it. Let's attach this load with my wool. There's the legs going up, and then the hair hoses. Yes, get some air hoses. There we go. Right, we've got our air hoses. Let's go. So we've got a three-hour journey. Not long now. 243 kilometres. Let's just see if I can adjust the thing slightly to include this place they're going through. Can we? Can we? Are we going through it? We are driving through the centre of it. We should, in theory, and I hope that we can see this as well without turning down the road. But it's possible we might have to turn down the road to get it. But we will be there very quickly. It's not. It's not a lot. It's not a bad run at all. And Bucharest has definitely scored off because it's yellow now. So that's that's another one. So we get this pedest, pedest, pedesti, pedestis, testes. Oh, whatever. Um, a very rude place. Pi test, P test. I don't know. P test. <laughs> a place where you go for a urine test. Anyway, come on. Stop being rude. Come on, Santa. Let's Great let's take level. Let's scrape the lamb's wool along the edge of that fence post there where we we just screeched out of this place instead of actually behaving ourselves. What an idiot. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, idiot. Time to go. Be good. There it actually says it on there, that's one of the places we're going to, so Just making 
sure I don't hit that barrier. And we're good, we're out. We're good and we're out. We're just going to 3 hours and 43 minutes down on the bar in the, the, the right -hand cor bottom right-hand corner. It's our uh, usual uh, informational things. Our bed's starting to full, which is fine, because we've got plenty of time. If I press... Um, if I get up to speed and then press F6 on the keyboard, you'll see you'll see what's uh, involved in that. I've got my Mercedes mug. Mercedes Actros. Actros. That's what it is. F6. We have six hours till our next rest stop, which is fine. Oh, sorry. Yeah, till our next rest stop. So we've got six hours. And we've already got a three-hour journey, so we're, we're all good. I'm going to pull over here. And I'm going to go down here. We can do 80 now. I'm going to watch the speed limit on this one. It's an interesting one. It seems to... Speed limit seems to go up and down. Turning into there for a new house. How we're speeding again. And we're down at 30. Where did that come from? We're going to pass somewhere here now, though. Look. We're going to pass somewhere up the top here. A building. Possibly need to be down below to see it. 80 kilometres an hour. Where did that come from? Back to 80 kilometres an hour. <clears throat> I think that says no overtaking. Not sure why. I guess we have to be in one lane and they have to be in another? Don't know. I'm going to assume there's a train going past. That's the place we've just missed the, there. On well, that side of the road. Don't know what that is. We're going some speed now, though. We're whizzing round. Now we're going slow again. I really am. I'm not really not watching the road. I'm too busy watching the GPS more than the road. 70 kilometres an hour. Back to 80. past this truck which is obviously carrying something disgusting because it's uh, it's like a trailer and it's going slowly so it must be full of sludge of some sort lock in the uh, cruise control again whoa and across at speed Nothing there, thankfully. I think I heard trains going past there. There was like a weird noise. It was right. And we go round. And we're round. And we're on, and we're going down here. We're doing all right, actually, for time. I think we're doing. We're, I think this is a good one. This is a good. One. This has been a good Christmas run. We've got a couple of towns out there, a couple of cities scored off. We can't beat that. A little bit of bulk and adventuring. A lot less than we had to do in uh, Spain. I think Spain was a lot. Spain and Portugal were a lot of cities. Yeah, that Scania truck is so weird. You should look it up. It's um. Um, uh, it's called a uh, Scania BEV, which is um, um, s sort of a um, stands for electric vehicle. as the end part of it. I can't remember what the BEV stands for, but it's very long, extremely long. The flatbed on it is really, really long, or the flat bit that you'd what? Oh, sugar! Don't you go? Clyde with me as well. Thank you. I didn't even see that come in there. Whoa. <laughs> oh, this is terrifying. I'm coming out. So this is the first place we're passing through. This is the one that we need. So two hours and 46 minutes to go at game time. 177 kilometres. Not very far. We've basically done two journeys though today. It's been worth it. You get to see me crash into things, which is always good. It's always, it's always very Christmassy to see me crashing. 
of the uh, bit, of, bit of Santa there looking happy with his with his little light on. If he was the middle of the night, you'd see that his light was on. So Santa has his little light. I'm looking forward to putting my pirate outfit on. I'll, put, I'll do that next episode. I'll put my new pirate one that I got on. I think that's going to be cool. It's got skull and crossbones and everything. I should change the entire fleet to pirate outfits, shouldn't I, really? Maybe get a new truck at some point as well. I've got two of these particular these two particular trucks. I've got somebody else travelling for me or driving for me. Do you know I haven't even kept an eye on them? 100 kilometres an hour. Why is everybody decelerating so rapidly? Cones. Cones. That car just pulled out in front of me. What? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, blooming helicopter, guys! Do you know what, though? I'm thinking we go off-road here a little bit and go around it. What do you say? What do you think? What if we go across this grassy bit here? What if we, what if we cross here? What if we just... 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 do this? <laughs> Look at that, though. Nothing, I don't like seeing the crashes, but that's good because we managed to sneak around that there. I shouldn't really do that, but we have. We've snuck around it because I want to go through the city anyway, so let's do that. It would have brought me back that way anyway, if you look. The, the map, the way the GPS is pointing, I would have done this anyway. So we've gone one direction gone the other, so I've just cut, just avoided that little that little bit by going across the grass. I suppose we could all snuck across there. I don't think the police would have been too keen, though. I think I'd be in trouble for that. What's that up ahead? Just signs and empty, empty, empty lands. Can get up to hundred. I love the fact that in Romania you can get up to a hundred kilometers an hour. Proper fast. Okay. And we're blasting down the road. Getting ourselves charged up power wise. It's really good. Just getting that, just get, just getting that engine going. It's just, it's just a lovely, strong-looking vehicle. I mean, even the, even the floor mats are sort of metallic and metal. It, it, it honestly, it's, it's, it, it feels good. It feels good as a truck. I think, I think we should. I should spend more time using the more basic ones because that's what you start with in the game, and you never go back to it. Once you've earned enough money, you all kind of buy. We all buy expensive, top of the range vehicles instead of tra traveling in the, the the things that. Let's be honest. You know, if you owned a truck company, you, you you would you would you would probably buy the more you know to keep the money cost down. You probably wouldn't buy quite the top of the range. You'd buy the middle of the road kind of thing that. Or even 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 buy the the cheapest of the lot rather than, um, you know, uh, what what's there. There we go. There's another one off. That's fifteen out of them all. I can't see that place here. It's not going to pop up on my. It's a Scania dealership. Let's do it while I'm here. Mark Middleton will never let me de let me let me live without de dealing with that. There we go, Mark. We got it. Now I've got to turn around this blooming car park. I'll tell you what. We'll go around. We'll try not to smash the dealership sign now. Yeah, we managed to avoid smashing the dealership sign down. We're all good. There you go, Mark. Just made sure that it happened, didn't I? And we managed to not knock the exit thing out. So we're all good. I'm going to force my way across the road. Come on, let me out. There you go. Mercedes and Mercedes. We're all friends here. There's European flags flying. That's a good, good man, that. Let me out. Good man. Okay, so 111 kilometres to go. We did get the extra... We did pick up that extra one there. That was worth it. It's a sl slightly off course, but we did it. 
the, the office building. Plowing through the town. Ease off a little bit on the speed. There we go. Here we go. Says the truck. <laughs> God help thank God there was nothing there. And we're pu pushing our way through the countryside. One hour and 52, 51 minutes to go. We're carrying a wool. 15 tons of wool. 15, 13 tons. Can't remember. Maybe 13 tons of wool. Either way, we're carrying some, 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 something along. Lots of wool. Delivering it around my house for my missus because she loves loves to knit. She knitted me a truck for Christmas actually. I forgot that. She knitted me a truck, and wheels and everything. I will put a, next week. I'll put a picture of the truck up that she knitted me. She knitted me a truck for Christmas. It was very kind of her. Not sure what brand it was, but but it was definitely a truck. Mind you, to be fair, my, my, my love of dafts is well known. However, to be fair, I'm quite enjoying this Mercedes. So maybe it was a Mercedes truck. Supermarket? Or DIY store of some sort? Or is it uh, or is it an Amazon base? Maybe it's an Amazon thing. I'm surprised they haven't tried to squeeze an Amazon logo in a few of these things, to be honest with you. The wide tick or whatever it is that of the of the Amazon. One hour and thirty six minutes to go. Yeah, she did. She made me a truck. Well, it was nice of her. Homemade gifts are sometimes the best. Some of them are really nice. I'm not going to be able to get any faster than seventy kilometres an hour with this lot in front of me. Never gonna overtake him either. He's limited to eighty as well. Oh, sugar! I almost ended up nastily. Got a dice builder. This game is stunning, you know. I say this regularly about it, but it is. It really does look a business. Extremely pretty. Extremely nice. So, uh, you know, and the realism is definitely there. Apart from possibly when I crash into things and, you know, don't actually do any damage. But other than that, do you remember, <laughs> do you remember I was driving that big green, um, my big green um, DAF um, XG 2021? And uh, we're just reminiscing about some of my favourite moments. What was your favourite moments? What was your favourite clip? I mean, we should do that. We should ask you what was some of my favourite favorite crashes. And, uh, and other things that stupidities have done. But I do remember that one where I was admiring the truck and I zoomed outside and then literally struck that man and his car on the side of the road as we were going along. That was quite a funny episode. That really was. That was, that was, we, I maybe should put one of those together, you know, like greatest, greatest hits or something like that. Um, quite literally the greatest hits in, in, you know, in, in my Euro Truck games. Quite a, quite a funny thing that. There's been a few. There's been a few. Not intentional. I try really hard not to crash. There are occasions I don't. There are occasions. There are episodes where I don't smash into things. It's almost like a you know badge of honour when I don't smash into something. The sun is starting to set slightly. There's rays going through the front of the truck. Wow. Oh wow. Look at this. Wow. That is a, that is wonderful. I even managed to do that without smashing the truck, which is even more impressive. Come on, let's get back to speed. So the bed has gone almost all blue. We'll be on the way to red shortly. 50, 56 minutes to go. We've not got long. And then we've got to find somewhere to park for the night. It's been perfect. I was going to do a shorter episode, but you know what? It's Christmas. Let's enjoy a bit of truck driving for fun. A beautiful truck driving. Loving loving it. Loving every second of it all. And 
just turn that slowly. Making our way through the world. On way. I tell you the Christmas song that I've had enough of though this year. It's Wham's Last Christmas. That, that I've heard that quite a lot really. I went to uh, I went to 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 to, to you know to to to, to a sort of a, a a a party not too before all this COVID thing got even worse again, and uh, and uh, it was uh, it was it was it was played about like thirty times. I, I I'd absolutely had enough of Last Christmas. You know. Good old George Michael. What's the other guy called? Can't remember the other guy. Is 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 uh, his counterpart in that? Can't remember what he was called. I really can't. Why did George Michael get famous? The other one didn't. Did he? Just, oh, it's because he went off to do a solo career, didn't he? Career, didn't he? And that was it. Did the other one not not have a not have as good a solo career? I don't know. Sun is literally blasting through the top of the the thing the the, the thing there. And it's coming off the top of the uh, the uh, crisp the, the 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 fairy lights in the van, or oh, the van, the truck. Twenty-one minutes to go. Thirteen kilometres. This is the town here that we're coming to. We'll have to decelerate shortly. Fifty. I'm already doing fifty. That's me running on the edge of the road as well, like an idiot. 51. Sneak that extra mile an hour. Not that it matters at this moment in time. And we'll sneak around here and we'll put this in. And that'll be a perfect way to end this, this video. Two deliveries. Two sets of parking. Two Please sets of deliveries. Down. Brilliant. Whoa. Nearly missed them lights there. I did actually. Completely missed them. Come on. This is a weird little town. I remember this. I think I've been here before. I think I've delivered here. Yeah, we're stopped. Sun is starting to come down. I'll just wait for the lights. There's nobody crossing, thankfully. I think you can increase the pedestrians as well, you know, in that that uh, that uh, uh, little um, density thing that I changed for for the, the the traffic density. I'm sure as part of that you could also change the pedestrians. Somebody was asking about it, and I'm sure it's there. When I was looking back at that video, it was that it was there. It's only a short little video actually, but it's well worth it. It's one of those kind of very useful um, sort of tutorials that you find sometimes on on YouTube. I found a few recently. My my driddle got jammed. I have a a chuckless driddle that I use, and it got jammed recently. And uh, I found a basically a very handy tutorial on uh, on on YouTube on how to how to fix it or what's needed to be done. But the biggest thing with with that is if you've got one of these chuckless things, is that you don't actually damage the 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 chuckless fitting. Basically, if you do that, that's a, that's big trouble. But uh, yeah, it's quite 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 useful little uh, little tutorial. It was. Thank you. Just let me through. Oh, I remember the trams. So we ended up on the tram bits before, didn't I? I said that. I need to be over here. We are four kilometres away. Not far. Traffic lights are on. Red. World of trucks ahead. I must be going to the loco place or something similar. I can't remember where we're exactly where we're going. Should we open the window? There we go. There we go. Open the window for a bit. We're away. Get a bit of air in. Get the air out the cab. We've been eating Brussels sprouts. <laughs> I love Brussels sprouts. I, don't, I, I, I know people, some people don't like Brussels sprouts, but me, big fan of Brussels sprouts. Love them. Love them. Could eat, I could eat them by bucket load. They have to be cooked right, but Brussels sprouts are just like the best. 
Yeah, I need to come over though. So you can go like that, and this can go like that. Squeeze in that gap, because I have to come across this way here, past this building here. Which is right next to somewhere I can park and sleep for the night. It's almost like it's fortuitous. Fantastico. Look at that. It's like a flat, isn't it? Here we go, here's the turning. Thank you! Thank you! Down to the housing estate down here, look. That's where we're going now. Into the housing estate. In the truck. Into the housing estate. Sneaking through. I wonder where we're staying for the night. Right next to this little tippy bit. You know, this um, scrap merchant. Is it here? In, in there. That's weird. Right, okay. Well, we'll go in there later. What are these two doing? Oh, picking up sticks. Oh, he's got, no, he's got an axe. Oh, he's digging. He's digging. Right, we're here anyway. Destination. Let's get this thing parked and let's get stopped for the night. Let's do it. There's a train. Okay. Confirm. Let's do the harder parking. It's here. That's not that hard parking. Let's get some. Let's use as much space as, as I've got. Been here before. Please don't be the kind of axles that turn. Have a look. Don't think we are. Okay. Nope. Can't see it. That guy's like, what the hell? No! Don't crash into me! Or the building. Can I just park in this one? I've got that one spot on almost. No, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't got spotted at all. I don't know who I'm fooling. I'm fooling nobody. Let's go. I'm doing it. I'm doing it wrong side here. Oh my god, where am I? Oh, actually... No, maybe not. Close! Close, but no cigar. Oh, come on, you, can, you know you can do this. There we go. Let's go. In we go. Seems best of three for me on all of these things. Best of, best, best of three. <laughs> I'll take it though. It's not a bad one. Not a bad one for best of three. Let's just drop this. Let's get our cash and let's get out of here. A little bit of money, fuel consumption, few liters. And 6,000 and a little bit more um, towards our elite status. Right, let's go and drive out here and park for the night. Let's just drive the, the, drive the thing. Right, let's close this window because it'll be cold now. It's getting dark. Right, let's go. So round here is where I can park. It says I can park in here. Right here. Really?
I can. I can just dump it in here. That is weird. Let's uh, let's try and not leave it on the railway tracks. Possibly, there's somewhere to dump it. Just watching the mirror. Yeah, apparently, I can. You can just dump it here for the night. I quite like that though, because you can't in other game in parts of the game. But here, we can just we can just ditch it. Well, but just here where the portal loose look and the things there. I mean, seriously, it's it's kind of the level of terribleness, realistically, that, that that's 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 unreal. So let's put that off. Let's push the button. Let's go for some sleep till four o'clock in the morning. And you can see Santa's little glowing look. He's glowing. The lights are glowing. Oh, isn't that nice? So four a.m. and we're 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 ready to go again. Anyway, um, I've been your host, Real Genetic Demon. Thank you for watching. Please have a wonderful um, sort of Christmas, New Year, and all the other bits that go with it. And I will catch up with you soon. See you now. Bye bye.